Hello, welcome to today's class. For today, we are going to be looking into an aspect called isometric. We are going to be reproducing now that figure you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. That figure is an isometric problem. So my first task is to draw out my isometric axis. I'll take it this way. Having done that, I'll take my set square. I'll take it down this way. Right? Also, I'll take it this way around. At this point, take it down this way. Having done that, I'll take the height upward. This point, take it upward. So this is what we mean by what we meant by asymmetric axis. So having done that, my next task is to observe, take my length, breadth, and height. My entire length there is given to be 60. So you can see my arrow indicating from here to here is 60. Right? My entire height is 20. So from here somewhere here to 20 also my entire breadth is given to be 35 35 from here to somewhere here is 35 so having done that i will take those points upward this point here take it upward this point here also i will take the same point here upward this was already upward already now similarly i'll take this this um sorry this also i'll take this way around to touch this point similarly take it down this way extend it down and um, join it with this so where they meet, you can see we have successfully produced out a box, right? So this is our box. As you can see the box in front of you, my next task now is that is to observe closely. From this point to this point is taking, I'm taking it. This point to this point is taking. I will also. Do the same right observe this point to this point here to taking I'll take this guy observing this point to this point also is taking I'll take it this center this middle line here this one is also taking I'll take in mine also take this is a thick line downward right let me show you what i'm doing right i'll take this the thick line downward also i'll take this point here to downward right this way so i have this but if you observe closely observing closely um distance from this point to this point here is 10 which is over to year 10 so i measure 10 from year to year is 10 similarly from year to year 2 is 10 you can see what i am doing obviously i will take this point here i'll take this point here observe take this point with the thick line upward take this point with thick line upward so i will close those line this way close line here to this way so i haven't done that observe i'll take this one inside also take this point here to inside so the distance from this point to somewhere here is given to be 10 so measure 10 from here to this point is 10 taking it taking i don't need to measure 10 just transfer point so transfer this point here 
to this this way also i will close it up this way right i have what you are seeing in front of you so my next procedure is that i will take this edge inward this one this edge here yeah no one with a faint line first i will now take this to cover it up so whatever it touches will be my limit to that line i drew and i'll take this to join this so i have what you have seen so i'll take this edge to touch this part so we have successfully reproduced out um the isometric you are seeing at the right corner of the screen to be what you are seeing in front of you if you have found this class helpful do not forget to click on the subscription button and like thank you welcome to excel wise link academy now next class we're going to be considering how to draw the orthographic projection of this figure you are seeing in front of you in first angle projection